guys welcome to another video this will be a, a quick video discussing a topic whether to use uh, if you can use glass to enclose your printer instead of plexiglass um, this topic came about because I was scrolling on my Facebook page I'm subscribed I'm, I'm in a lot of the 3d printing groups as you see my channel is all about 3d printer at the moment so I'm in a lot of 3d printing group and I came across the Swiss cheese guy as he, you know, shout out to the Swiss cheese guy. He asked the question whether to use glass or plexiglass. And I just want, and I've seen a lot of people in the comments just commenting what they think, but not what they experience. And um, because I have a lot of experience in this, in this particular area now, I can speak on it. So here's my opinion. I will say this glass is a very good alternative to plexiglass for one it's cheaper with glass um it's more rigid and it also does help to keep the heat in okay it does help to keep the heat in um you can actually clean it with practically you know with some alcohol and some water with a glass cleaner with whatever method and it won't it won't make your glass bury or anything like that right but I noticed with plexiglass, if you clean it with alcohol water, it can it can damage the, the actual plexiglass. You know, for some reason, there's a reaction with the plexiglass and alcohol that cause a damage to it, and you can't get it out. Okay, so again, in my opinion, glass is has a lot more benefits on the downside. Now, the only downside with glass like this, especially the cheaper glass, not tempered glass, because I'm using cheap glass, glass that you can use to put up on a mirror you know you just regular glass from like a mirror or picture frame like this type of glass however this is just a little bit thicker same type of glass but this is three millimeter thicker those type of glass usually about two millimeter thicker very thin but this is a little bit more thicker glass but it's the same type of glass right um they're cheap again cheap easy to cut to size um easy to clean um very rigid keeps the heat in and um and then add weight to your printer. Um, once you add these glass panel, it definitely add weight to your printer. Your printer is again, more rigid. When I run, I notice a difference when you run input shaper. When I had plexiglass on, the input shaper would send different type of, you hear a lot more vibration in the, in the machine. Um, when I have, when, ever since I put these glass on, the vibration is a little bit more minimalized and the input shaper that is being recommended is MZV versus any of the more aggressive input shaper. So there's some benefit adding the glass to the bill. Like I said, for those who are maybe wondering or thinking to go glass, I would say definitely go glass. If, you, if, if you're careful, if you're not a klutz, <laughs> if you're very careful, go glass. Um, the only thing that I would suggest is to sand the edges down. Um, in the beginning, when I put glass on this, after I build this, I mentioned that I actually cut my toe on one of the glass carelessly. Didn't know you could um, sand down the edges. So now that I have the edges sand down, I can handle it not worrying about it cutting me. So that's another thing I would say. If you do go glass route, sand it down, sand down the edges pretty easy. I use a machine sander. You can actually use a paper sander, whichever way you want to sand it down. It actually sands really, really well. The edges are smooth and now I can end the glass not worrying about it, you know, cutting me or anything like that. So that's the only thing to look out for. But otherwise, glass is definitely a good alternative to use instead of plexiglass. Again, I'm not going to tell you to definitely go glass, right? This is just another alternative that is much cheaper than going plexiglass. Because when I looked at plexiglass or, or any type of polycarbonate vinyl, whatever you want to call it, they tend to be a little bit more expensive okay very very pricey stuff um versus glass just much cheaper easy to cut you know score it crack it done right um if you're not good at cutting glass 
some local Lowe's, like my local Lowe's, cut the glass for me. I give them a dimension that I want. They cut it for me easily. Um, but if you're good at cutting glass or if you already have tools that can cut glass precisely, then I do recommend you cut glass, put it on there. Again, they're really cheap to replace if you crack them. Um, I've cracked a couple of glasses already. And um, again, cheap to replace. I go there, pay 12 bucks and get a brand new glass and put it on. No problem. Uh, but like I said, if you're careful, you're a careful person, definitely get the glass. If you're careless, you know, you're you're kind of rough with your printers, I definitely would recommend glass if you're very rough. Um, but for me, the glass worked great. It looks good. It's just much cleaner. It makes the printer look so much, much better instead of a, a vinyl or one of those polycarbonate, whatever those things are, sheets or whatever. And I, again, because it, it is rigid, when you do use foam, you notice you get a very even sealing when you seal the, the printer versus when you use plexiglass that flex, depending on how you uh, mount it, you might have gaps that, 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 the, that the hot here seep out of. Whereas this, I can rest my hand here and all I'll do is feel the heat here, but there was, there's no gaps of it leaking out or anything leaking out. So again, to me, glass is just really good. I find that it's really, really good to use glass. Now, if you can go um, maybe tempered glass, that would be a better it's a bit more pricey on the tempered honestly it's, it's just it's actually more expensive than plexi um but if you want your, your computer to be real rigid and solid tempered glass would be definitely be the way um and more durable more rigid uh, but it'll be a lot more heavy on the piece, uh, on, on your printer your printer will be definitely be heavy so you definitely need handles to carry that sucker around um but if you know you're not going to move your printer you're not going to move your printer around a lot it's just going to stay in one area and print um again glass to me is just it's definitely the way it's just again it makes a printer a lot more rigid and solid um so i would say go for glass but again it's just another alternative to plexiglass so i just wanted to debunk a lot of the claims that glass don't hold heat or nothing like that it's definitely hold the heat in like i said this with the with the trident um uh, and the v1.8 keep in mind that it has a small area to heat up remember you're heating up from about there to there so it gets pretty hot I would say I, I, I see cha chamber temps are hitting by 62 degrees, um, which is plenty fine enough for ABS. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Um, a lot more. Uh, what should I say? It's it's good enough for to keep that ABS basically not warping and sticking on the bill plate. Even when I'm using 60% fan, it stays down on the bill plate. No problem. It doesn't warp. Right. So. So again, but if you're like a, a like a uh uh 2.4 which i'm gonna i'm redoing this 2.4 by the way um then you might i don't know if it's worth it to go glass on a 2.4 because you have so much of a built area to to heat up there um uh, but to me when i redo it i'm gonna still use glass because i said glass just glass is more rigid it gives you a better seal than the plexiglass that i had so i i, I guess I'll, I'll run that test and see how that goes but i'll also be implementing the bed fan the bed fans to blow the heat from the bed and circulate and see if that will help also heat it up faster but like i said in my honest this experience glass works great my ambient temperature in my house is usually about 23 to 24 degrees and it still gets hot in this room anyways okay it still get hot and but again it still retains the heat just enough heat again to to, to maintain a 62 degree chamber temperature same thing with this gets pretty hot this is glass as well again 62 degrees chamber temp uh, temperature i'm using 700 watt heaters 750 watt heaters um so again there's no issue to me using glass right again there's so much more benefit but like i said you guys got to look into that yourself i'm only getting only i'm only reporting from experience and in my experience from now on glass is the way to go if i ever build a um another um another printer uh in, in this in the terms of like a voron or something that i require that i that i will be using to uh print abs uh make sure i use glass again cheaper i don't have to worry about you know it flexing i don't have to worry about the, it hazing too much if i use different chemicals on it um again there's some benefits there um but if like i said if you're a klutz if you're a person that is not very safe or your kids or if you have kids and they're not uh <laughs> they get into things then i wouldn't recommend glass but my kids are pretty good and my my print room is just my print room they don't really come in here so glass for me just works out really good again it's cheap if i break it i can replace it just as easily 
um so i just wanted to report that again shout out to the the um the <laughs> the swiss cheese guy for bringing up that topic and giving me another content to speak on and again um again it's an alternative you don't have to use glass I'm not saying you should you should and you must get it but um it's just another discovery that you can use glass and it's definitely worth it and i have no issue with it so um yeah so i just wanted to share that with you guys and i'll see you in the next video peace